The RNG brawler Chester is unfortunately one of the many brawlers that suffered from their own success. Releasing in a broken state back in December of 2022, Chester was quickly nerfed and fell off the face of the meta. But due to his high popularity at the time, he was still constantly played by casuals. However, the nerfs had left him a shell of his former self. He would go on to gain a negative connotation of being a newbie pick. There have been many other brawlers who have fell into this hole as well with the likes of Edgar, Fang, Mortis, and Surge all coming to mind. But there are two main differences between these brawlers and Chester. The first being all of these brawlers at one point had a resurgence of power to actually make them good or underrated in the meta for a while. For Fang and Edgar, it was the release of their hypercharges. For Surge, it was the rework he had back when his power shield gadget was completely broken. And for Mortis, it was the change to his long dash mechanic. The second thing that all these brawlers have that Chester doesn't is a strong player base. No matter how bad these brawlers were, they have always had people fighting for them and saying they were underrated. The player numbers for these brawlers almost never dropped below the top 20 in the game. While on the other hand, with every passing season, we are seeing Chester be played less and less, with his current pick rates being in the bottom half of the brawlers and showing no signs of increasing backup. This is such a shame for a legendary brawler with some of the most fun mechanics in the game. So I wanted to propose this rework to make him a viable option. Although I will be trying to make him better in the meta, I don't want him to be too strong. As a RNG brawler, being one of the best in the game will never be healthy for a game long term. So to start off, let's look at Chester's kit. When looking at Chester's stats, we see that he has pretty decent HP, being comparable to other brawlers like Shelly, Sandy, Maisie, and Lola. Next, onto his damage, it has a range depending on how many bells he throws. Each bell will deal 12 to 80 damage, with Chester throwing them in a sequence of 1, 2, and then 3. He also has a fourth sequence added, if he is using the bell O Mania Star Power. This leads to Chester having inconsistent damage throughout the game, with his damage going from a single tick mine to more than a full Daryl shot. But I feel this is also a pretty decent way that they balanced out Chester. This damage sequence allows for easy counterplay against him due to his average reload speed. If a player does not finish off a kill with their final attack, they are likely to be swarmed before they can ramp up again. Although this does hurt him at a more professional level as you would prefer a much more consistent brawler. I believe this is not his biggest issue, however. In my opinion, I believe his biggest issue is his super. You see, Chester has a trait that makes him randomly swap between five different supers. In theory, this would have made Chester a high-risk, high-reward character. But after several nerfs to his best super, and no changes to his underwhelming ones to compensate. His super was left in an overall lackluster state. Not only that, but the longer Chester has been in the game, the more and more predictable he has become. This was an unavoidable reality that his supers would eventually be figured out. But it has made a brawler who was meant to be an unpredictable variant on the opponent's team one of the easiest to counter play. So, with all that in mind, my rework concept will be primarily focused on the balancing of his supers, along with a few other changes that I feel will add more unpredictability to his kit without being overwhelming. First, with Chester's main attack, I would like to implement one of the most requested changes for him. This would be to make his Bell O Mania Star power baseline. Right now, there is a huge imbalance with Chester's star powers, as Bell O Mania is pretty much a requirement to play him. As mentioned before, I think everything else with his main attack is pretty balanced with clear counterplay. So that will be the only change I would make to his main attack. As for his star power changes, I will mention what I will do with them later on, but for now, let's move on to his supers. For his supers, I have quite a bit of changes in mind. To understand how I will be balancing them, I think we should see how Chester's supers stack up to each other. On release, I would say his supers were in this range of usefulness, with there being a huge variance in how useful his supers were. And after his nerfs, I would say the balance works out to about this range. 
Now I would say his gamble super has very few rewards with a small chance of usefulness. I'm actually okay with his current versions of the Candy Popper and Cool Mint Star powers. I think it's fitting that his best super is one based around chaos and destruction. While any changes to his healing super could potentially make it broken. So if we are going off the design that Candy Popper is his main super and Cool Mint is his situational one, I would actually like to make the remaining three all related in their effects. By this, I mean that I want their effect, durations and damage to all be trade-offs of each other. First for Jawbreaker, I would only propose one change, which would be a buff of the damage from 400 to 1000. This is still less than half of what it was on release, but a bit more damage could make the difference in a lot of interactions. Next, for his Salmiaki Super, it is the Super getting changed the most. Currently, it does 580 damage per second, for 7 seconds for a total of 4060 damage. For my change, I would like it to be reworked to 375 damage every half second for 5.5 seconds. This would total up to 4125 damage. And finally, for his Pop Rock Super, which is by for the worst super, I would give it a 226% buff in its damage, making it go from 320 to 725. Currently, people only see it as a worse spike super, as it has way lower damage and cannot be thrown. With this change, it still would have the drawback of not being able to be thrown, but would create a circle of death for the enemies for 10 whole seconds. So after all these changes, the trade-offs between these three supers will be as shown. Every time the super's range decreases, it in turn gains 4.5 more seconds of its debuff, and 3125 more total damage. With these changes, I really wanted to play more into Chester's role as a damage dealer, because before only two of his supers did any significant damage. Now that we are done with his basic kit, let's move on to his gadgets and star powers. For his gadgets, I actually would not change either of them. At his release, his spissy dice was better, because it allowed him to try and cycle to his broken super. And now Candy Beans is better as Chester's supers are not as impactful. With the super changes I made, and something that I will mention later on, I think they will be of similar balance now. So moving on to his star powers, I can now continue on with changes I would like made to them. Many people have suggested scrapping Sneak Peek, but I believe it was only useless in comparison to Bellomania, and because Chester's supers were not that impactful, that you would dedicate an entire star power to them. But again, with the super changes and the making of the other star power baseline, I feel it would get a lot more value now. So for a second star power, we need to introduce one that can provide similar value to Chester as Sneak Peek, without being mandatory like Bellomania was. For his new star power, I took inspiration from Chester's gadgets. He has one that makes him more consistent and one that makes him more chaotic. So if Sneak Peek is the star power that makes him more consistent, I would to introduce one that would make him more chaotic. So I came up with the Sneaky Getaway star power. For Chester's design, he should be a brawler that is running around the field causing as much mayhem for your opponents as possible. And what good is a trickster if they can easily be caught? This star power came to mind after I wanted to implement this into his kit. The star power works after Chester uses his super. And for two seconds after he does, Chester gets a small speed boost. This can help him either close a gap to do a large amount of damage or escape risky situations. Although it might seem like this star power offers more value than Sneak Peek, that is counteracted by my concept for Chester's hypercharge. But before that, let's briefly discuss a mythic gear for him. No matter how long I thought I could not come up with a competitive mythic gear for Chester that I thought would be balanced. So instead I went a different route and wanted to capitalize on what Chester was made for. To be a brawler, that is fun. And what is more fun than frustrating your enemy? So I came up with the trickster gear. Every five seconds Chester's attack sequence will advance by one. As mentioned before, one of the best counterplays to Chester is to wait out his final sequence and then go in when he's back at one. But with this mythic gear, the Chester is playing with a double-edged sword. He could get really lucky and have this gear pop when they are on one ball, 
or it could cause them to lose because they got sent back to one ball from four. It is a gear specifically made for casual and fun use, but in the hands of someone who can keep count of the timer, can lead to some amazing pop-off plays. And now we have finally made it to the hypercharge section. Some of my balancing changes might have seemed a bit random up to this point, but I hope this hypercharge will help explain why I left some things in his kit the same and changed others. My hypercharge concept is the jackpot hypercharge. While trying to cause even more trouble on the battlefield, Chester infuses his supers with either spicy or cool candy. This leads to each one of his supers now having an additional effect based on what they were infused with during his hypercharge. So if you already ran the math, that now means Chester has a random chance of getting 10 different supers. He also gets a slight supercharge boost during his hypercharge. These supers are as following. Spicy Candy Popper. Brawler's hit are now also set on fire for 1500 over 3 seconds. And Chilled Candy Popper. Brawler's hit are now slowed by 40% for 2 seconds. Spicy Jawbreaker. The Jawbreaker now moves at double the speed. And its alternative Chilled Jawbreaker. The Brawler hit is now also muted for 2 seconds after the 1 second stun. Spicy Salmiaki increases the amount of damage the poisoned Brawlers take during its effect. Chilled, Salmiaki pushes back opponents. Spicy Strong Mint now gives Chester a reload speed buff during the effects, while Chilled Strong Mint gives Chester an adverse effect immunity during its effects. Spicy Pop Rocks now deals double the damage with it attacking every half second, instead of every second. And finally, Chilled Pop Rocks slows 50% more effectively. After all of that, I hope you can see why on this concept, I do not think Chester's sneak peek star power and spicy dice gadget need to be changed. Comparing the gadgets, you would be able to change supers during hypercharge for a chance at your preferred super. While with candy beans, you could get another buff to go along with you, hypercharge bonus effects. And when comparing star powers, you can either get a 50-50 chance at a hypercharge super you want with sneak peek, or get a speed boost, after you use your hypercharge with sneaky getaway. But after all these changes, I feel like Chester has at least five to 10 different builds he can play in the game, but I would like to highlight two. First, his consistency build. With this build, you would be using spicy dice and sneak peek to cover up for Chester's weaknesses and cycle out supers you do not need. While on the other hand, we have Chester's chaotic build. This build is literally just for the player who wants to run around and be the most annoying brawler your opponent will ever face. With the mythic gear, candy beans, and five to 10 different supers, it will be next to impossible for your opponent to know what to expect from you. And even if they do predict you, after you use a super, you will have a speed boost to get away, thanks to the new star power. Not only do I see this as the chaotic build, but I also see it as the ultimate troll build. But that is about everything I have for this video. This was probably the video that took me the longest concept-wise, as Chester is a very intricate and hard brawler to balance. But let me know what you guys thought about my ideas and what others do you have. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.